Greetings Metal community, uh, it's uh, Roger back with uh, another collection update, um, yeah, as you could uh, hear. Morbid stain, Stench, uh, the, rotting ways of, the Rotting Ways of Doom, uh, came out last year, excellent uh, death doom, um, slow death, from, uh, well, there's at least one guy from Costa Rica and uh, one or two guys from Venezuela or vice versa, I don't remember. Uh, there are members of um, Insepulto and um, Insepulto from um, Costa Rica, I think, and um, Conceived by Hate from uh, Venezuela, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, great album. I'm pretty sure this would have been in my top 20 last year if I had uh, gotten this into my collection last year, but um, did not. But um, always nice to pick up excellent uh, stuff. It's just heavy, chuggy, uh, death doom, uh, great vocals. The vo it it kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, myth mythological cold towers from Brazil, if you know them, especially the vocals. Um, yeah, but uh, if you like your slow death, go and check out uh, Morbid Stench. So the rest of the stuff is vinyls. Um, yeah, first uh, I'm gonna close the competition on Saturday and probably uh, draw a winner or the winners. There will be several winners of that competition. So uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna film that on Saturday or Sunday. Uh, depending on my uh, if I'm in the mood yeah but some vinyls um, this is um, yeah and Endonomos. Uh, Liam has shown this on CD I think um, maybe John at um, Rock and Metal Plus as well did show this uh, some time ago. Uh, great album, uh, Doom Death I would say, more than Death Doom. There's some clean vocals here that kind of reminds me a little bit of Mal Mile Morda from uh, Ireland, if you know about them. Uh, music is kind of in a vein of Eye of Solitude, but faster, you know, Eye of Solitude and more funeral. Um, Funeral Death Doom, but um, very cool leads, um, kind of solos. I call them leads when it comes to this music. Uh, very nice uh, guitar work on it. Great vocals as well. Uh, production is, you know, perfect for this kind of music as well. It's it's clear, but not too clear. If you know what I mean, you know, your Death Doom needs to have a little bit dirty sound. So. Uh, but yeah, great album, and uh, thanks to Liam who um, kind of shown this uh, a while back. I ordered the vinyl. Um, I got a copy for you, uh, Liam, as well on vinyl, so we will sort it out at a later, a later time. But uh, yeah, then we are going on to some uh, technical uh, death metal. Uh, I was not sure if I wanted to buy this album, to be honest. Um, just because I, I struggle with some of the vocals here, it's artificial brain. Have to yeah, have like stuff inside there as well. Um, yeah, technical death, uh, progressive, slightly progressive, more technical than um, progressive, but uh, kind of a little bit towards newer Gorguts in a way I would say, but there's also kind of a black metal feel to them, like um, yeah, Death Spell Mega type of black metal feel uh, to some of the riffs here as well. Uh, as I said, the vocals are, I think there's two vocalists here, there's at least two different styles and uh, one of the styles sounds like a, a pregnant toad um, and it's kind of don't fit the music I feel because when it comes to this more technical uh, death metal, if, the, if the, the vocals are too deep and low, they kind of kill the um, kind of kill the playfulness. It's not bad or anything. It's just like I would have liked them to have kind of a more normal death metal vocals. 
on here, but you know, it's, it's just one of the two uh, vocals that are here that are like that, and it's not all over the album, but uh, musically it's great, it's absolutely a killer album. I really love this um, music, uh, here is the inner with the lyrics, and uh, of course uh, black uh, vinyl, and this is out on Profound Lore, so you can kind of almost say that they have a little bit uh, you know, reeking aura as well. It's not far from it. So, um, but it, it's the kind of type of death metal that that uh, Profound Lore would would uh, do. A little bit twisted and weird and, and different. But a uh, great musicianship here. Uh, uh, very well done and great songs on it. And uh, as I said, uh, minor adjustments on the vocals. This would be a absolute killer so album so i'm glad i picked it up but i, I as i said this might have ended up like um, taken off my list just because the vocals was slightly off for me uh then we're going to norway and um, ritual death very dark uh, cover and uh, yes it's kind of uh, blackened uh, death metal or in a way a little bit vicious uh, very cool uh, band photo there and uh, yeah as I said uh, kind of a little bit evil uh, death metal you could say there are some moments of like um, goat lord uh, in there as well uh, you know, all, all this is very dark and murky but big lyrics for uh, old guys to uh, read so that's cool need your glasses to be those um, and uh, there's a lot of um, in a way black metal feel to it uh, a lot of these members are um, you know uh, featuring in a lot of Norwegian uh, black metal bands so kind of uh, not surprisingly but I uh, awesome stuff it's just like an energy driven um, evil death metal that I think a lot of you will enjoy. Uh, it's, it's kind of also uh, recorded in a way it's, it has kind of that live feeling to it um, in the sound because it's not very, it's not dirty, it's not bad sounding, it's just that have that energy, uh, live energy and um, very cool uh, recording and uh, great, great, um, let's say evil death metal. Uh, if you want to check it out, I mean, I will link it up below as always, so uh, you can go and listen to it. But uh, great album, and uh, this also might have ended up in my on my list for last year, but uh, the vinyls uh, didn't come out until this year, so um, I think. Yeah, I picked up uh, in numeral forms, um, philosophical collapse. On vinyl as well, you know, I do have the CD, uh, it was on my top 20 list uh, last year. Excellent um, a combination of death, doom, and uh, just heavy, chuggy death metal. Uh, you know, fast, they go slow and then they go fast. Uh, brilliant album, um, kind of the only kind of you could say that the reason why they weren't higher is kind of they were. It's kind of predictable how the songs go, but it doesn't matter. They are fucking bangers anyway, and um, it would have been fantastic to see this man live because I think this is uh, perfect live music. But yeah, most of you know this uh, album anyway, so I'm not gonna dwell too long on it. And I picked up two uh, releases by Gut Void. This is the EP from, uh, uh, I don't quite remember, does it say when it was recorded? No, three, four years ago, maybe. Uh, I don't know if it was a demo or just an EP, but uh, doesn't matter, Blood Harvest with the OB strip. The inner with a uh, picture of the guys. and. Um, yeah, just cool to have this um, 
on vinyl. Uh, it's uh, pretty great. I'm going back to the music with the next release. Uh, I think the only one that has shown the vinyl of this is um, Matt from Altar of Madness. Sticker, uh, double vinyl. I, of course, uh, got the uh, beautiful um, black. It's a pretty long album, so uh, double vinyl is, is okay. They might have made it on three sides, but uh, who cares? I do like that. Um, you know, this cover is just fantastic. I do have the tape of this one, I also got the CD as well, but uh, I might give the CD away to somebody in a VCLT, but uh, yeah, uh, musically it's dead. slow death, uh, death doom, uh, with some very cool uh, leads, that's kind of what separates this album from, um, from kind of uh, a lot of the other bands, is, is the leads, they are weird and twisted, but very cool. Uh, very kind of playful and then surprisingly uh, they surprises you and uh, that's very cool to uh, especially when you listen to so much slow music as I do and, and there is a band that comes uh, and, and give you a surprise on how to um, to play leads um, you know the guy from um, intestinal hex uh, Daniel Pony Homo Figlio is, you know, um, in this band and you can hear his guitar style because he has a very unique way of playing. But uh, if you haven't uh, picked up this Gut Void album, you need to pick it up because it's a uh, fucking banger of an album for uh, slow uh, death lovers, as many of us are. Put the sticker in as well so I don't... Uh, but yeah, Gut Void, fantastic album, and um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you have heard it by now. The next one I got uh, hold of uh, after watching, uh, I think it was Rick over Dreadful Minutes who had this on this, um, uh, yeah, this uh, Metal Tag video. Um, that's uh, Angist from uh, Iceland. This is a four piece uh, with. Uh, uh, she is the guitarist and vocalist. I think she plays guitar as well. Um, sadly, the only release they have this is a um, seven. It's an EP. Uh, there are some um, bonus uh, tracks here. Um, some demo stuff, I think. Uh, very cool cover as well. Uh, the reason why I kind of was happy that he showed it is because uh, she uh, did also. Um, sing on one of Skalmulg's uh, uh, albums um, and I uh, always liked the voice so I was kind of curious what else she had done but kind of forgot it so when he showed this I was uh, straight into um, Discogs and found me a copy that it wasn't very expensive but um, here is the uh, group. Uh, great um, vocals as well um, very heavy death metal not super technical or anything it's just quality death metal um, go and check out Angist and um, Circle of Suffering uh, this is a great release and um, sadly they uh, have not done anything more than this so uh, hopefully uh, they will reunite or something or uh, start up a new band and I picked up the new uh, Dayquisitor, uh, Danish, uh, Turkish uh, band uh, from, uh, I don't remember where the members are from, but uh, I do think um, the drummer is in, um, oh, what's the name of that band, Diabolizer from Turkey, if I remember correctly. Uh, this is dark, uh, murky, uh, evil uh, death metal. Uh, kind of brutal but not like fast brutal it's just uh, have a lot of brutality in them I really like this band the only um, ripe I have about this band and it's the same with the Abolizer is the snare drum which is uh, way too hard 
uh, when when everything else is pretty murky and the snare is pretty clear and, and hard sounding it kind of pops out a little bit too much uh, it's m mostly annoying when it plays fast because it, he, uh, then, then it kind of pops more out when it plays the slower parts it, it doesn't bug me but uh, but uh, yeah so a little bit shame because you know um, I really are kind of my brain is kind of reacting on drums or unbalanced in production and then sometimes that's it doesn't destroy the album at all, uh, don't worry about that, it's just uh, for me it, it, that kind of takes away a little bit of it. But uh, if you like, uh, you know, your murky evil, um, and as I said, it, it's a brutal feel to the album without, you know, blasting away or... or, or uh, but it's deep vocals, it's uh, cavernous sounding... Uh, and uh, it's great. I mean, if you heard this band before, you know what to get. And, and the, uh, the songwriting is uh, excellent. Uh, it's out on um, an extremely rotten production and uh, Night Shroud Records. And there's a lot of uh, flyers with it. That's normal when you buy stuff from. Um, from um, uh, extremely rotten production uh, he throws in a lot of flyers and stickers and uh, that's very cool so yeah if, if you want to some just some dirty evil and uh, murky and uh, filthy horrible death metal go and uh, check out the Christor. I really like the band but um, it's an acquired taste I guess with, with this type of music also picked up, uh, I've been picking up a lot of uh, Sinister's uh, vinyl because I'm uh, a big fan of Sinister, this is Hate, uh, came out in uh, 95 originally, uh, they were a three piece at this time, yeah, I recall who is the vocalist, probably odd singing on this album. No, Mike is singing on this album. Um, then after this, or the album after, uh, Ray Rachel came in and did the vocals, and then Art took over the vocals. But yeah, Mike has a great voice. So uh, of course, uh, beautiful uh, black vinyl. But yeah, I mean, for me, Sinister, at least the first. Yeah, first four or five albums, four al first four albums are mandatory in my opinion. Um, I like them all, but um, I think they were at the best uh, in the beginning, but I also are great now, but they are more brutal now. Uh, this is just, you know, uh, 90s uh, death metal, as we all love it, and uh, quality stuff, and... Um, We will really sleeve on camera. This is, uh, you know, um, Cosmic Heat um, reissue from uh, 22. So, yeah. Another reissue. I did show uh, the first album by this uh, band um, on my unboxing, but this is uh, You'll Never See uh, with The Grave. Uh, fantastic uh, second album. Came out in 92. Just great album. Uh, the first album is a little bit more kind of, in a way, straightforward. Very cool center label here, if you can see that. Uh, again, um, Cosmic Key reissue from uh, last year. Uh, yeah, just a killer album. I uh, really, really like this. Uh, as I said, the first album was a kind of a little bit more straightforward. This is. A little bit more um, uh, variated uh, in t terms of riff, but uh, you know, you have to have the early Graves albums. I mean, all the three firsts are kind of variated, um, but you know, they have their signature sound anyway, so um, yeah. I'm sure everybody knows this album anyway, so. But it's a killer album. Then we have, uh, we're going to Peru, 
Peruvian uh, death metal with uh, a good dose of uh, thrash. Spectral souls with uh, towards extinction. Uh, ex extinction, yeah, yeah, of course. Um, yeah, death metal uh, with uh, a good dose of thrash in the riff. Uh, fucking brilliant album. Uh, really good music on there. The vocals are a little bit weird. I don't. I can't explain his vocals because uh, he sounds like no one else. Uh, like a little bit hoarse uh, vocals, uh, not very deep. Uh, sometimes I think it's awesome. Other times I think it's not so awesome. But uh, overall, I like it very much. But um, there are some days that I think that they would benefit it from a, a different or more juicy death vocal. But uh, uh, it makes a character to this uh, album. Um, as I said, uh, kind of um, up tempo, mid tempo uh, death metal with a lot of uh, thrashy parts in it as well. Great musicianship again. It's slightly technical as well. Um, as a lot of these uh, South American bands are and um, I don't have a lot of music from Peru so I'm very happy to um, to get one I mean again you know beautiful black vinyl uh, they did self release this back in um, back last year in, in May uh, this is the uh, Hammerheart uh, kind of free issue in a way but uh, it was self-released first, but uh, so this is not a 2023 re uh, release if you think that, because the CD and vinyl came out uh, this year on Hammerheart. But they they did self-release this last year, so um, uh, I did uh, pick it up from the band, so I do have it on um, the uh, original CD as well. But uh, I really like the music on this album; it's, it's uh, fucking great. Then I also finally got a vinyl copy of um, this fantastic album. Stargazer, I've shown the CD before. Uh, Psychic Secretions. Uh, this is kind of more... Um, it's an Australian band, so you kind of have more this... Uh, uh, towards Ulcerate um, type of uh, death metal. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's, it's very, in a way, progressive. Uh, not so technical that ulcerates, uh, but also kind of uh, a lot of black metal feel to it. Um, but this is a great album, and I, I think a lot of people know about this. Um, I don't know if this is a kind of, um, yeah, the third, second or third print of this album. I don't know, but. Uh, you should get this album if you're into the uh, kind of more of a um, yeah, if you like bands like Ulcerate and stuff like that. If you like the um, yeah Faceless Burial, you know the the um, Australian and and um, New Zealand death metal style. Uh, I think you will love this uh, album. It's a bit obscure sounding, but uh, but uh, it's fucking brilliant. So. Um, Go and check it out. And last but not least, one of the uh, top 10 albums for me last uh, year. Um, it's Liam showed this vinyl, Suppression. Uh, the Sorrow of Souls Through Flesh. It's, uh, yeah, it's from Chile. Killer, killer, uh, kind of technical. Um, not super technical, but there's a lot of technical stuff in here, not overdoing it, but uh, really cool. Uh, vocals are more like, you could say like newer Pestilence, a little bit influences from that, you know, especially the vocals. Have a little bit of that Mameli ring to him, so uh, yeah, uh, just tabless songwriting and, and they are so good at playing. Great riffs, great vocals, uh, great production. Um, this is an excellent album. I think I had this. Yeah, it was top ten at least. Uh, might have been a top five uh, album if you look at it this way and uh, cool picture as well. So uh, yeah, Liam said it all in this video, and I'm 
he has got more viewers than me, so... Uh, but if you haven't picked up or listened to this album, go and do so. This is uh, pure class death metal. Yeah, so that was a long video. Sorry about that. I, I just have so many items in my um, inbox that I need to uh, get through them. And a lot of these are not new anyway. So, um, But yeah, as I said, in the background, Morbid Stench. Go and get you some Morbid Stench and some of the other good stuff here i will link it up below so you can go and check it out for yourself and um thanks as always for watching and uh the shorts